This brief video is part of a larger series exploring the new NX Measure command. In this video, I'll show you how to measure projected distances, including some new options. Inside the Measure command, we'll start by selecting a couple of objects. We'll select the, the upper face of this lens right here and the face of this lens up above. I'm not really interested in the angle right now, so I'll filter out that angle and we'll just look at the distances. Now with those two objects selected, obviously we're getting the minimum distance between those two. And you can see those points where those two objects, uh, where, where those, uh, the, the minimum distance between those two objects uh, touch those. What we're going to start to do is look at a couple different ways to measure the projected distance between these objects and see how these uh, compare. We're going to select the vector to do this. We can use either uh, a datum axis that's here or a vector from the screen. The new default with NX1201 is going to be this minimum projected clearance between these two objects. And this one, as you can see here, really represents kind of the largest object that would fit in between these two, uh, these two selections uh, in the direction of the measurement. This is that minimum projected clearance. A maximum projected clearance is going to be similar, uh, but is really going to be kind of the, the, the smallest space that would enclose both of those selected objects uh, like this. So minimum projected clearance, again, is going to, going to really look at uh, kind of a parallel distance between those two and we think this is the most common result that people will want. But as you notice there are several measurement options in here and we'll talk about a few of these. The, the legacy projected distance is actually this bottom one here, this minimum projected orthogonal. And we'll talk a little bit about this one here. What this one actually does, uh, if you'll notice, is goes back to that original minimum distance that we calculated. It uses that original minimum distance, calculates that first, and then really projects that minimum distance into the selected vector. So what the result is of this really is a component of the minimum distance as projected into the, uh, the, pr the component of that minimum distance along the selected vector. Now this, this is, uh, has been the result for, for quite some time. This might be what you're after. <laughs> but we think there's another more interesting one that, that we've added here in this new measure command that was not possible before. And that's this middle one, which is the minimum projected uh, contact. What this one simulates uh, is a different answer. You'll notice that the location of the endpoint to this vector are going to jump when we select this one here. It's going to move over a little bit. And what this one simulates is this. It's a condition where one of the objects, for instance, may be moving toward the other object, and we're going to see where they're first going to contact if one is moving toward the other along the vector that was selected. Uh, if we think about this like a, a mold and die set, for instance, or a stamping die, where there's a top half and a bottom half, and one half is going to move toward the other, uh, this would represent that first point where they're going to run into each other, first point where they're going to collide. So that's why we've named this the minimum projected contact. Again, this is a new method that was not available prior to NX12. And, uh, and we, think, we think this is an interesting one. We think this one will be useful. So uh, again, that minimum projected clearance will be the default uh, for projected distances. The, the legacy one is the projected orthogonal method down below. The new one is this projected contact in the middle, which is, which is also interesting. The one thing caution uh, with this new method here is if the objects actually don't contact each other, <laughs> if they're separated physically, such that as you move one toward the other and they don't actually collide with each other, then you'll get a zero result for this minimum projected contact right here. So this one, uh, this one uh, a little bit of caution as you use that, that particular new method. But it's, a, it's a, a very interesting new method that we hope you like.